Hey, hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Coach Charlie, YouTube channel, Dogs the Ball, Ball, Bill for Theme Park News, and welcome to this Theme Park Newsroom debating update. This is from Hershey Park. Now, Hershey Park is a theme park based on the Hershey chocolate brand, and in 2020, they're going to be opening Chocolate Town, which is their brand new entrance plaza, their brand new entrance gateway, and of course, included in this is set to be. Um, a Hershey fountain, like a white, like a white Hershey's fountain, and among this, we're going to have the tallest, fastest, longest, and sweetest hyper slash giga coaster. Now, this isn't going to be a giga. I think we're all confirmed it's not going to be a giga. I can't believe I haven't reported on this before. I reported on this on the early, like the old channel. I reported on this in a couple of videos on the old channel. Uh, but this basically is the tallest, fastest, longest, sweetest hyper coaster from manufacturers Bolliger and Mavillard. Now Chocolate Town is set to be the brand new, like I said, the brand new entrance gateway. And of course we haven't really known about any details about the hyper coaster uh, from B&M. Now there is one thing I want to discuss specifically in this video and that is the potential name that's been tossed around the last week or so about Hershey Park's new coaster for next year. Now I've looked on the timeline on the official Chocolate Town website, uh, the, uh, the Chocolate Town part of the Hush Park website, and apparently the next in, the next date in the deadline is summer 2019. So I'm expecting this summer we're going to get some form of an announcement about Hershey Park's new coaster, and of course I will bring that to you on Coast Channel YouTube channel when the news breaks. Now this is all to do with the name this video so the, poten the potential name for Hershey Park's coaster now of course we can't we, we know it's going to be uh, the first of their coasters themed to Hershey themed to chocolate themed to candy um, now I want to hear what what you guys think of this name as I say it so comment down below what you guys think of this potential name that's been tossed around for a week or so Candemonium Wow. <laughs> um, so yeah, what are my thoughts on this potential? Obviously it's not true in any way. We're not going to confirm it unless it's announced, which hopefully the name gets announced this summer. Because it says on the, like I said on the timeline on the Chocolate Town bit of the Hershey Park website, it said the next day on the timeline is summer 2019. So I'm expecting some form of announcement by them. Either um, the back, if, if, if there's a backstory for the coaster, I know it's going to be Theme to candy, and it's going to be the tallest, longest, fastest, sweetest coaster, uh, hyper coaster. Um, but you know, maybe we'll hear some stuff from the name and maybe the backstory for summer 2019, and of course, gearing up for that 2020 opening. But the name, the potential name, take those a pinch of salt, not confirmed either way. But imagine if this is the name, imagine if we're hearing Hershey Park announces for 2020 the tallest, longest, fastest, sweetest being a hyper coaster, Candemonium. Now I think that's very, very clever. Now some people might be sceptical about the name, oh it's Candy and Pandemonium, Candemonium, the usual, the usual plain boring name generating. Um, but in my opinion this is a very clever way of doing it because, you know, you look at the, the coaster layout and you look at how banked it is, you look at how... Um, you know how much airtime there is. You look at the the big turn. Uh, you look at the different features of this, and the fact that it goes around the Hershey Fountain. Um, it's going to be in this sort of sweetie location. Um, I like the name Candemonium. I think I think people have been saying it's uh, the name of the whole like a code name for the project, and not the actual name. But in my opinion, I would like that to be the name. Um, I, I think the only seed of doubt I've got with that name is the logo. Now, most of you who know the theme park industry, those of you who don't, please listen out, but those of you who know the theme park industry are coaster enthusiasts and you've worked in the industry will know that logos and branding are vital for a ride. It's the ride's USB. It drives their success. Now, Candemonium. Love the name. Very cleverly done. But what about the logo? What could the logo look like? Now, I personally haven't done any drawings or computerizing for the logo. Um, but I want to run a, comp well, a little bit of a competition with you guys. 
those of you who are watching right now, you saw at the beginning of the video my Instagram. If you haven't, pause the video here, go back to the first few seconds of this footage, not the intro, the new intro. <laughs> Hope you love it. Um, but those of you who saw my Instagram, at Aaron Chaloner Official, at double A R O N C H A double L O N E R O double F I C I A L. Aaron Chaloner Official, at Aaron Chaloner Official. That's my Instagram. I want you, and you're going to see a picture of me. It's like a picture of me outside a train station at Meadowall in Sheffield. <laughs> Um, basically, um, I want you guys to Instagram message me your custom-made Candemonium logos. Now, of course, like I said, it's not the official name for the ride until we know for certain it is. But I want you, I'm going to say that's the name for now. But I want you, uh, for, like, for the name Candemonium, I want you guys to Instagram me your custom logos for Candemonium. And I want to personally share them at the start of another video. I'm going to wait, I'm going to give it a few weeks, maybe maybe I'm going to wait until um, the next announcement comes out from Hershey Park in the summer um, to release them because I want to build up all these logos so I want you guys to send me your custom made Candemonium logos and I will show them out. I'll give you a shout out as well um, ask me how you want to be shouted out and I'll show you your Candemonium logo on the channel, on the next Hershey Park update. Um, if there's one that's too soon, like a week or two after I've said this, then I'm going to wait until the big one in the summer. Um, what, what, if there is an announcement in the summer or some kind of update in the summer. But I'm going to give it a good month or so. So I want you guys to send me, send me your Candemonium custom logos and I will share them out with your own shout out at the beginning of that next Hershey Park update or the next video within a month or two. So what are my thoughts then on Candemonium, the potential name of Candemonium? Like I said, very cleverly done, logo I'm kind of worried about but of course ho hopefully you guys that are sending me all custom made logos for Candemonium will do a better job than what they could do if they release a really terrible logo, which I don't think they will. I think Hershey Park are quite good with their branding, so I think they could pull off something good. Um, but I, to, to be honest, I'm just really excited about the coaster in general. I think it's going to be a very underrated coaster. I think with all these big projects going off at the minute for next year with RMC Quasi, um, Busch Gardens Williamsburg, SeaWorld Orlando, SeaWorld San Diego, Zadra Energylandia, the Six Flags ones that's going to be announced, I think this is a very underrated year uh, in, for coasts in general. So I think Hershey Park is going to be one of the very underrated coasters. It's not too overhyped, but it's a very underrated coaster in my opinion compared to the rest of the Thrill Coasters and Extreme Coasters being announced for next year already. So, uh, like I said, this is going to be a very underrated coaster and I think the, name, the, the potential name of Candemonium is a very clever name. So there we go, so that's this new theme park news from update from the potential name of Candemonium for Hershey Park. Make sure you send me your custom logos uh, within the next month or two uh, at my Instagram, at Aaron Chalner Official, and I will share them out with your own shout out in a couple of months' time. Thank you very much for watching this theme park news from update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and cut notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, my name is Coast Charlie YouTube channel. Keep living the Coast Live videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.